So this is Brittlewood and the number escapes me. 3426 Brittlewood. It's a nice single story, 2200 square feet. And it's four bedroom with a pool. Nice little courtyard area here. What is good here is that there's lots of cars here. The guy's got a big um, truck here as well, so he shouldn't have too many complaints. Um, it's 500,000, 499 and change. It's completely renovated. You step down a small step there into the living area. Uh, great, massive dining room. Painted the fireplace and everything. The flooring's good. There's nothing that needs doing. Uh, kitchen's fully finished, new cabinets, beautiful appliance. You need to buy a refrigerator. Um, this again, so I guess there's two. So this would be informal dining area here. And right next to the kitchen. And I'll give you that other view there of the formal. Um, I guess this is probably garage. Let me see. Yep. So garage, they've got instant hot water heater, that's good. So no water heaters are gonna burst and break. Two car garage, which can be converted into a gym. And then there's an outdoor area. I don't know the best way to get out, but we will find out. Let's, uh, let's see. It is locked behind there as well. Yeah. Um, pool is in great shape. It's Pebble Tech, so there's no plaster to deteriorate. Nice private area. Not overlooked, there's a backyard there. The other houses are far away. Pool equipment, uh, newish. Um, uh, filter, and then you've got your pump, and those are the quiet ones. And then you've got an area down here, of which is all concrete and maintenance free. But I guess we could convert this to a little putting green. There is parking as well for trucks and things. We'll go back inside. And this area, I guess, with the fireplace, depending on, yeah. Yeah, this actually could, we could use as a bedroom, put two queen beds and put double doors in here. Obviously there's no bathroom, um, but that could easily be done and end, it up, end up as uh, five bedrooms because you've got enough area here, to big, uh, big screen TV there, dining there. And we go through to the bedrooms. So this would be washer and dryer, goes in there. Again, bathrooms are simple, but they're really well done. Very, very nicely done. Two queens beds here, side by side, long, thin room. Two queens there. I think this one, yeah, and a bathroom. Wow, that's, oh, this must be the master then. So again, nice bathrooms, well finished. Very nicely finished. And I believe that that would be a closet there. Yeah, that's a fitted closet, no problem. And then another bedroom. Okay, so this is a little tighter. This would have to be one king bed and this would have to be one king bed as well. So you would, in effect, I think, need to utilize that area that I said at the side of the kitchen and make it a bedroom. Then that way you get all your, um, all your beds in. Otherwise you've only got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, which is okay, but we really want to try and hit the, the magic 16, if we can. But it's a super nice home, and I would highly recommend it. Um, and that is Brittle Wood. Oh, hold on a minute, did I miss a room over here? Ah, wow, okay. So this would be a child's room. So you could put, you wouldn't be able to put a queen bed in there. That'd be too tight, I think. Well, no, you wouldn't. But just a little, uh, either put it, set it as an office with a day bed or a couple of, um, maybe a bunk bed for kids. That might, that might work. So we're, we're pretty good. Excellent home.